there's just more options now. I think you know when I grew up, um, and it's very, it's very hard for me to be judgmental on on the kids of today. Only option for me was to be a successful Test cricketer at that stage. There was no other way in which you could make a professional living out of the sport that I loved. I would have still played it, but I would have probably looked to do something else if I wasn't good enough, you know, uh, professionally. Uh, today the options are a lot more. Uh, I think people have that option of of not necessarily playing test cricket but still making a living out of the game and you know who's to blame kids for taking that option who's to blame kids for uh, using that opportunity if they feel they're not good enough for test cricket so I think in, in this generation yes because even the people like the Rohit Sharmas or the uh, Suresh Rainas or the Manoj Tiwari's or whoever the young kids who are in the team today have still grown up watching and idealizing test cricket because I think it's it's the kids like Samit or, or you know kids of, uh, my son's age, who would have grown up watching T20 cricket, grown up watching the IPL. That will be the challenge. When in 10 years' time, what will those kids want? Talent. I mean, I, the talent I was mentioning about was probably that ability to strike a cricket ball. Potential. The potential. That's just a sense of timing. It's a hard thing to explain. But as you know, Sanjay, some people just have that. You can look at a kid and you can say he just got it. He's got that. I mean, Saurav Ganguly just had that ability to time a, a ball, a cover drive. He just had it. You could see it. I mean, Sachin has that, or a, a Viru, or you know, someone. It, you wouldn't necessarily say that about a Gautam so much as you would about some of these other guys. You know, not that Gautam's less successful. I think he's, you know he's, he's fantastically successful.